host, Tamara here with Minard's Leisure World. Today I'm going to walk you through the brand new 2023 Reflection 315 RLTS. This unit just landed on our lot. They've done lots of nice changes this year, so I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's start off with the front caps. Alrighty, on the 2023s, they have now done the gray painted front cap with the rock guard down here. You do have the LED light still in here, so that's a really nice bonus. Two 30 pound propane tanks on the front of here, and you've got your power tongue jack. This unit also comes with power stabilizers, so a little hint of luxury even on the outside. Diving right into the underbelly here, you're going to see that battery disconnect, just chilling, hanging out. Uh, this unit is equipped with solar. It has a 370 watt solar panel up there and room for more. So talk to us if you guys are boondockers, if you want a little bit more information about the solar, we'll fill your head with lots of knowledge. So diving down in there, this is a heated underbelly. There is forced air heat down there. They did new decals this year. So really nice sleek look. Uh, it's really updated the trailer. Nice large entry door here with the large grab handle. As you can see, campsite slide with an awning, another awning over here. So you will get two awnings on this. So tons of coverage. It's a really nice big unit. Great for a seasonal, great for those few weeks at a time. Still doable for a weekend, but it's a bit to haul. So make sure you got the big enough truck for that. Outdoor speakers on this unit as well. Let's pop inside. This floor plan is a top seller for us. The bedroom slide is probably the main thing on here that customers are after. So Coming inside, they've done lots of really subtle updates, yet wonderful updates. So different wall board, a little bit different flooring. The main is the cupboards here. So as you can see, really nice light finish on here. Right behind this cupboard is your control panel. So you're going to be able to scan a QR code, update that, it's called Compass Connect. Uh, you can utilize your tank levels, put your awnings in and out, your slides, uh, you know, really keep in touch with the unit without having to come in and use the control panel. But if you're not a techie person, you wanna be pushing the buttons, you have access to that as well. Into the hutch area, I love this drop zone here. You've got a couple drawers down here. Everybody needs a drunk drawer, whether you're camping or at home, so you have that access. Lots of room for a coffee bar, crock pot, anything you need. They did a smoked glass finish on these cupboards and it's really, really sharp looking. You can see lots of nice space in there for all of your dishes and plates and cups and whatnot. I wanna talk about this fridge, you guys. This is that 12 volt fridge that is going to run off of your battery, which in turn, that solar panel keeps going. So this is that uh, 16 cubic, 12 volt refrigerator. So you've got fridge on this side, freezer on this side. It's really, really great. As you can see, it's turned on, it's cold. They cool off within an hour compared to the gas and electric, which is 24 hours. Hop over here to the island. Solid surface countertop on this. You've got a really nice, deep stainless steel sink. It is one basin, so utilize that however you see fit. If you need to throw a bowl in here to do dishes, dry over here, you guys make it work for yourselves. I'm going to swing right over here to the oven. So we've got a three burner cooktop with an oven. It's a bread box for me, but if you guys are long haulers, maybe you'll actually utilize the oven. You've got a drawer beside and a drawer underneath. So your pots and pans are going to fit nicely underneath there. Another cupboard, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's a great space for a garbage can there. And then what's camping without wine? They threw in a little wine holder here. So you can definitely throw a few bottles up there. And then you got a really nice size microwave here too. Right beside that oven, you've got the pantry, smoked glass door on the front of that too. It does have a um, motion light, that's the word I'm looking for. Motion light up there, so when you open the door, it will turn on. You've got really deeply lipped shelves, so when you're traveling, all of your goods aren't coming out. Make sure you're not stacking your cans three high or you're just asking for trouble, but uh, you got lots of room in there. Also room for a broom in here. They don't butt the shelf right up to the frame of the door there. So you've got room to put some of that stuff in there as well. Okay, so the island is a different tone than the regular cabinets, you guys. It's a little bit darker. It's really, really sharp looking. Uh, you've got storage. I hope you guys can see from there. Wide open storage underneath the sink here. So tons of room. I would just utilize that with some tubs. And then you got three really nice sized drawers over here as well. So they did a great job. I just turned the fireplace off. It is smoking hot in here. The, my, our detailers had it going for us. So that does push off some good heat, you guys. Or you can just turn it on, turn the lights on, make it look really nice. But we've got smoked glass doors up here, storage as well. Your radio is located up here, built-in DVD player. So if you are a movie family or if you have the grandkids along and you want to pop something in to entertain them, you've got that. Bluetooth options, lots of great options that way. We've got a drawer down here. So no shortage of storage in this unit. You're going to have cubbies and drawers and everything everywhere. Nice deep cubbies back there too. All right. 
swinging over here to the sofa. So this is going to pull out to be a double sized bed. So it is a trifold. Uh, pop these off. Velcro there folds out really nice and easy. Um, but then you've got cubbies on each side with some storage and plugins on both sides as well. So you need to charge your devices. You have that option too. More storage up here. So this is really nice and deep. I can't quite reach the back there and I'm 5'9". So um, you may need a stool or to utilize the couch either way. Okay, blackout roller blinds throughout these. Uh, we've seen them in a lot of our Grand Design products. So they're continuing on with that. They seem to be working really well. Customers are liking them. They roll up nice and slow. They do stay down. You can also move this around. So if you've got kids trying to play with that, tuck it to the back there. Okay, right over here to the theater seat. So in this theater seat, we've got heat massage. Here we go. Recline. And there's some nice fancy LED lights in there too. So if you turn off all your main lights, you can really set the mood with the LED lights throughout. Nice and comfy. It will roll back too, but I don't need a nap right now. So I'll stay sitting up. Right here by the front door is your freestanding dinette. So we've got two chairs. We've got this removable ottoman in this beautiful hearthstone color it's called. This does pop off the back if you want to utilize that ottoman over by the couch. Pop the other chair over there. Got a light switch here, really nice and handy. And then your pedestal table. Alrighty, we are obviously in the bathroom with the porcelain foot flush toilet. They've got a curtain rod there, or not a curtain rod, whatchamacallit, towel rod there. You've got storage above the toilet. Nice big shower, it's a step-in shower, so just watch that. And then you've got medicine cabinet above the sink, some counter space and storage underneath as well. My favorite part of this trailer is the master bedroom. So first of all, we're gonna start second AC in this unit. So when we do a bedroom slide, we typically throw that extra AC in here. We've got a king size bed, which we can knock down to a queen. You guys don't get caught on that, but most people are wanting kings. We've got storage underneath. I'm gonna show you here really quick. So nice and closed storage underneath there. So lots of room for extra linens in this. You've got windows that open on each side of the bed. So you do get a little bit of ventilation if you prefer that over the AC. And we've got cupboards above the bed as well. So more storage up there. I would probably keep the good snacks. A husband won't find them. And then we are in the front cap of the trailer right now. So essentially, let's call it a crawl in closet. <laughs> you've got shelves, you've got lighting, you've got hanging storage, and then more shelving above. There is washer dryer prep right in around the corner to the left as well. So you can toss a unit in there. And then there is some access to the underbelly if you guys need to access anything in there. But if not, you just keep that shut nice and tidy. On the other side of the bed, away from the front cap, you've got your light switch, which I'm gonna show you. Hopefully that didn't screw you guys up. You've got your AC controller right here. And then you've got your storage in here with its own light. So you've got beautiful hanging storage in there, lots of room. And then you've got a couple nice sized drawers underneath here too. And then directly across from the bed, obviously, You've got your dresser, tons of drawers in here. So these are really nice sized drawers as well. Cupboards up here. And then you've got your TV locator up here. If you want a bigger TV and you don't want to hang it up there, don't worry about it. Set it down here, throw it on your bed when you're traveling. Now. Alrighty folks, once again, my name is Tamara. Thanks for joining me on the tour of the 2023 Reflection 315 RLTS. Uh, just a few features of this, two ACs, no ductwork in the floor. So we'll talk to you about that as well. Nice big fridge with the solar package. So if you wanna learn about this one or anything else we've got, check us out at minorsleisureworld.com.